In today's show, Bitcoin hits $44,000, but traders want to see a few daily closes here before move higher. And as crypto analysts wreck capital shares, Bitcoin is breaking out from a weekly ascending triangle. But for Bitcoin to confirm this breakout, Bitcoin needs to flip the ascending triangle top and to support. Upside wicks beyond this ascending triangle top have happened before. And as Sheldon the sniper shares, Bitcoin on its way to the big zone, 44 to 46,000 is a very important zone for the bulls to break. I expect short term pullback in the zone, but a break of this zone in the next few days. Market definitely showing good strength. And even Bloomberg analysts are bullish as they share here. Bitcoin price chart shows momentum building with the bulls pointing at a potential break to $50,450 and then 54K. And this just in breaking news, the Luna Foundation buys an additional 2,900 more Bitcoin worth $128 million to back their UST stable coin. And quoting Dennis Porter here, if you think Bitcoin can't go to $10 million per coin, it's because you haven't calculated in the nation, state, and central bank adoption. And quoting Pomp, every country is going to accept Bitcoin because they can have the confidence that no other country will debase it, nor they can seize it. The global game theory is real. That's right. In breaking news, ExxonMobil is using excess natural gas now to power crypto mining, according to this latest report. Also in today's show, the SEC could approve spot Bitcoin ETFs as early as 2023, according to senior ETF analyst for Bloomberg, Eric Balchunas, as he shares here. New note on why we think spot Bitcoin ETFs will get approved in early summer 2023. The SEC is proposing to expand the definition of exchange, which would bring crypto platforms under SEC regulation. After that, which could take a year, look for ETFs to get the green light. And this just in breaking news, Colorado, the next state to accept tax payments in crypto, quoting their governor here, Colorado is already a leader in crypto with our first in the nation chief blockchain architect hosting ETH Denver and other blockchain hackathons. It was great to sit down with CNBC to discuss the initiatives Colorado is taking on cryptocurrencies. And as VJ points out here, while the Bitcoin price does not yet reflect it, momentous changes in the world financial order are upon us. Quoting this headline from CNBC, Russia is considering selling its oil and gas for Bitcoin as sanctions intensify from the West. Also in today's show, Bitcoin could drop to this key support level before exploding by over 230%, says Bloomberg analysts. Mike McGlone, quoting him here from a new interview, if you buy Bitcoin at around 41,000, I think maybe in less than a year, you should expect it to go to around $100,000. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market, as you can see Bitcoin, ETH, and many of the alts are currently pumping and in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this, plus so much more in today's show. Here are crypto news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with a $100,000 Bitcoin price. And if you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the number one leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. And right now you can get up to $250 in Bitcoin when you buy crypto or fund your account today with BlockFi, be sure to use my referral link in the description right down below. Right now, there are more than 500,000 people and 350 institutions globally using BlockFi to manage over $10 billion in assets. And here are some of their flagship products, which includes their trading platform, where you can buy, sell, and trade the top cryptocurrencies. You can do instant trades with ACH. You can trade 24-7, 365. Another flagship product I love is their BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa Credit Card, where you can earn an unlimited 1.5% back in Bitcoin on everything you buy. There are no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees, and you can see if you're approved with no impact to your credit score. Also like to point out for your first 90 days, you're actually going to earn three and a half percent Bitcoin back on all your purchases, truly making this a no brainer. So go ahead and click my referral link in the description right down below to get up to $250 in Bitcoin. And let's start stacking those sats shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, broadcasting live from the beaches of Puerto Rico. Hope you're having a fabulous day. The morale across the crypto ecosystem is rising on March 24th, as several days of positive moves have helped lift Bitcoin back above 44,000, and the Ether bulls took control at 3,100. And at the time of this recording, we're currently trading just above $44,300. Now, the climbing price of Bitcoin comes amid a backdrop of surging inflation and rising interest rates, which could see up to seven hikes 
over the course of 2022, according to Minneapolis Federal Reserve President Neil Kashkari. That's right. And right here, you're looking at the Bitcoin one day candle chart. Now, check this out. Bitcoin needs to flip 44,000 into support. And if we look at the weekly chart, it shows that Bitcoin is breaking out from the weekly ascending triangle, according to market analyst and synonymous Twitter user Brett Capital, who posted the following chart outlining the formation that has been developing over the past few months. As he shares here on Twitter, Bitcoin is breaking out from the weekly ascending triangle. But for Bitcoin to confirm this breakout, Bitcoin needs to flip the ascending triangle top into support. Upside wicks beyond this ascending triangle top have happened before, which you can see here in the orange circles. Now, the significance of the resistance Bitcoin now faces was also touched upon crypto trader and synonymous Twitter user Sheldon the Sniper, who posted the following chart, highlighting the zone from 44 to 46,000. As he shares here, Bitcoin on its way to the big zone. 44 to 46,000 is a very important zone for the bulls to break. I expect short term pullback in the zone, but a break of this zone in the next few days. Market definitely definitely showing good strength. Let's freaking go. As you can see here, the crypto market cap is back above that $2 trillion milestone. And even Bloomberg analysts are bullish as they share here. Bitcoin price chart shows momentum building with the bulls pointing out a potential break at $50,450 and then $54,000 send it. And this just in breaking news, the Luna Foundation buys an additional 2,900 more Bitcoin worth $128 million to back their UST stablecoin. Now keep in mind that they pledged to buy $10 billion in Bitcoin and it is happening. And this is the first stablecoin to be backed by BTC. Bring it. And quoting Dennis Porter here, if you think Bitcoin can't go to 10 million per coin, it's because you haven't calculated in nation state and central bank adoption. That's right. Game theory in full effect. And quoting Pomp, every country is going to accept Bitcoin because they have the confidence that no other country will debase it, nor they can seize it. The global game theory is real. That's right. And before I break down next breaking story of the day, Exxon Mobil is using excess natural gas to power crypto mining, according to this latest report. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, many of the major alts are pumping, including the King Crypto up 3% for the day, trading just above 44,300, making its way on up to 50k send it we have eth up three percent trading above 3150 dollars solana up three percent trading above 103 bucks as well as polka dot avalanche binance coin cardano and xrp all pumping and in the green but all right now let's break down our next story of the day united states-based energy producer exxon mobile has reportedly been running a pilot program aimed at using the energy from excess gas to power crypto mining rigs and it may be expanding its operations into four other countries that's right in a new thursday report bloomberg said exxon mobil has inked a deal with crusoe energy to use excess gas from oil wells in north dakota to run bitcoin miners the project reportedly uses 18 million cubic feet of natural gas per month roughly 0.4 percent of the oil giants reported operations in the state producing 158 million cubic feet of natural gas each day. So this is pretty major. Now the company launched the pilot program back in January of 2021. It is now reportedly considering expanding into Nigeria, Argentina, Guyana, and Germany. And in addition to launching a similar project, in Alaska, and it was reported in February that oil and gas giant ConocoPhillips was running a program selling excess gas to third-party Bitcoin miners for fuel. Now, transporting natural gas requires pipelines, which cannot always safely accommodate the amount produced. Companies are often forced to burn off any excess gas or vent it into the air, ultimately harming the environment and the firm's profit margins. It is creating use of what would otherwise be wasted, said Danielle Fugier, president of Environmental Shareholder Advocacy Group, as you so, referring to the energy being diverted to Bitcoin miners. And according to a report from Argus Media, Crusoe Energy operated 60 data centers for crypto mining across the United States as of September 2021, powered by gas from oil wells that would otherwise be flared on site. Instead of burning off the gas, diverting it into crypto mining reportedly reduces the carbon dioxide equipment equivalent emissions by as much as 63% as Masari shares here. CoinShares estimates that 69 terawatt hours of wasted power in the U.S. is lost annually to flaring through Bitcoin mining data centers like those provided by Crusoe Energy and upstream data. Wasted flared energy can be repurposed, but it can also reduce CO2 emissions. So there you have it. And though the Baskin Shale Basin in North Dakota is a major source of natural gas for the United States, Texas is also home to many oil and gas companies, in addition to crypto mining firms, seeing the potential for energy production in the state. And in contrast, we have New York lawmakers having proposed suspending proof-of-work mining powered by fossil fuels in response to critics citing environmental 
environmental concerns, which we all know is nothing more than FUD. And before I break down next story of the day, SEC could approve spot Bitcoin ETFs as early as 2023, according to Bloomberg analysts. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting back above that $2 trillion milestone with about $106 billion in volume in the past 24 hours, with the Bitcoin dominance at 41.9% and the Ether dominance at 18%. 0.8%. And checking out the top cryptocurrency gainers for the day within the top 100, we have Quant leading the pack up 16%, trading just under $147, followed by QTUM up almost 14%, trading at $8.66, followed by Axie Infinity up 13%, trading at $72.18. Now checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the week. You can see literally a sea of green as the entire crypto market is pumping. I love to see this. And checking out one of my favorite indicators is the crypto greed and fear index shows we're currently rated a 47 which is neutral yesterday was a 40 and last week and last month a 25 in extreme fear and if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried that can be a great buying opportunity aka btfd buy that freaking dip and when investors are getting too greedy that means the market is due for a correction. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Eric Balchunez and James Safart, exchange traded fund analysts for Bloomberg, said the proposed rule change with the United States SEC could be the catalyst for the regulatory body approving a spot Bitcoin ETF in mid. 2023. In a Thursday tweet, Balchuna said crypto platforms can fall under the SEC's regulatory framework if the commission were to approve the amendment to change the definition of exchange proposed in January. The rule change would amend the Exchange Act to include platforms that make available for trading any type of security, seemingly including cryptocurrencies, making their investment vehicles more palatable for the regulator, quoting them here, once crypto exchanges are compliant, the SEC's primary reason for denying spot Bitcoin ETS would no longer be valid, likely clearing the way for approval, said the analysts. Now, Balchunas and Safart said that under this amended definition of exchanges, which could be finalized between November 2022 and May of 2023, the SEC could approve spot crypto ETFs, including those with exposure to the king crypto. The regulatory body has so far rejected all rule changes, allowing listings of spot Bitcoin ETFs on exchanges changes despite approving some investment vehicles linked to Bitcoin futures in 2021. As Belchuna shares here, new note on why we think spot Bitcoin ETS will get approved in early summer 2023. The SEC is proposing to expand the definition of exchange, which would bring crypto platforms under SEC regulation. After that, which could take a year, look for ETFs to get the green light. Send it. As many U.S. lawmakers and industry leaders have pushed back against the SEC's seemingly reticence to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. In November, Representatives Tom Emmer and Darren Soto sent a letter to the SEC Chairman Gary Gensler challenging the reasons the regulator has denied listing shares of a spot Bitcoin ETF. Also, BitFury CEO and former acting comptroller of the currency Brian Brooks also said during a December hearing that the U.S. was unquestionably behind the curve on approving crypto ETFs. That's right. We currently have a futures back Bitcoin ETF. Why? For manipulation. They can do what it is that they do. They've been pushing this back, a spot Bitcoin ETF in the US for the longest time. However, we already have them in Canada and all other countries around the world. So America is getting left behind. And I feel this is long overdue. But once this spot Bitcoin ETF is finally approved, expect fireworks and the Bitcoin and crypto markets. Now check this out. Yesterday, I shared breaking news of Florida Governor DeSantis confirming the state is working on a plan to let businesses pay for their taxes in Bitcoin and crypto. And now Colorado comes out and says the same thing, quoting their governor here. Colorado is already a leader in crypto with our first in the nation chief blockchain architect hosting ETH Denver and other blockchain hackathons. It was great to sit down with CNBC to discuss the initiatives Colorado is taking on cryptocurrencies. And here's some more quotes from the governor. We need to ensure that every Coloradan can equitably participate in and benefit from investment in our state by expanding beyond institutional investors and commercial banks. We invite millions of Coloradans to share in the financing of new capital assets. Seeing governments recognizing cryptocurrencies as a viable medium of payment for taxes speaks lengths about a mindset change in the way we view these currencies. It's the responsibility of governments to make sure that its citizens are not defrauded, criminal activity is curtailed, and that taxes are not being circumvented. So this new development happening in Colorado was only a matter of time. This advancement may also encourage crypto transactions to be implemented in other places statewide, such as the local DMV. This is a 
a great opportunity for Colorado to build its reputation as a tech hub and mark its place on the forefront of a digital revolution. It's a huge step for the industry that multiple states are having to really understand crypto, makes rules around pricing digital assets for real tax purposes and more. That's right. Let the Bitcoin game theory continue. And as VJ shares, while the Bitcoin price does not yet reflect it, momentous changes in the world financial order are upon us. Quoting this headline from CNBC, Russia is considering selling its oil and gas for Bitcoin as sanctions intensify from the West. Let's go. And before I break down our final story of the day, Bitcoin could drop to this key support level before exploding by over 230%, says Bloomberg analyst Mike McGlone. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,100 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store, now live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, the daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Net. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And of course, you can find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify to Apple's iTunes. And if you're listening to the pod, be sure to check out the YouTube channel at CryptoNewsAlerts.net for the full premium experience with video. And of course, you can follow me on crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikToks, wherever you at, be sure to plug in and follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Senior Bloomberg strategist Mike McGlone believes the king crypto could crash before hitting a six-figure price in the coming months in a new video interview. He goes on to share that the flagship crypto is likely to fall to a key support level of $30,000 before it rallies to a price of $100,000, which is a gain of 230%. Quoting him here, if you buy Bitcoin at around 41,000, I think maybe in less than a year, you should expect to go around 100,000. But at these levels right now, we might easily see $30,000 first. And I fully expect that's the kind of risk reward because 30,000 has been the key support. Now, the senior Bloomberg strategist says he expects Bitcoin to follow the stocks in a downtrend before a reversal. As he shares here, if the tide goes out, which I expect in equities, I fully expect Bitcoin to drop with it, gold to continue outperforming, and then Bitcoin and gold to come out ahead. Now, that's the scenario. Now, if I'm wrong, the stock market just keeps going straight up again. Bitcoin will outperform like it has. And according to McGlone, Bitcoin is the highest quality investment in the crypto asset space, but it needs to be shaken out a little bit before it can stage a recovery. Quoting him here, key thing about cryptos is they are the speculative excess example of the future. They can trade 24 7, 18,000 of them. You know what happened in Shiba Inu and things like those. That's just silly. But Bitcoin is the gold in the space and it's still speculative. I just really think it needs to be shaken out a little bit and then go back up as a whole market. And to watch this entire interview between Scott Melker, the Wolf of All Streets, and senior commodity strategist at Bloomberg, Mike McGlone, entitled Expect Correction and then Bitcoin to $100,000, check the show notes below the video in the description. Now for a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show, Bitcoin hits $44,000, but traders want to see a few daily closes here before a move higher. Also shared breaking news, ExxonMobil using excess natural gas to power crypto mining, as well as the SEC could approve spot Bitcoin ETH. ETFs as early as 2023, according to Bloomberg analysts. And we also discussed the state of Colorado accepting tax payments in crypto, as well as Bitcoin could drop to this key support level of $30,000 before exploding by over 230% to reach a six-figure valuation, according to Bloomberg senior analyst Mike McGlone. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, VBerg420 wrote, crazy how far crypto has come and will go. Bitcoin to the moon. Well said, fam. We still just in the bottom of the first inning, if you're to ask me. Prepare for the wildest ride of your dreams. And our next featured comment comes from Ecoin, who wrote, Aloha JV, great crypto news rundown. Thanks for always curating great content for the Crypto News Alerts fam. It's hard work, so I hope you catch some nice rays at the beach. Enjoy, brah. You bet, fam. Glad to serve our amazing crypto community. Bitcoin to the moon. Let's freaking go. And our third and final featured comment comes from Max Schmidt, who wrote, great news, great show, and honestly, cannot value enough that this channel is free of leverage, trading chill. Greatly appreciate your continued support, Max. Much love, hodl. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below.